Hey guys, I want to put a quick video together just to show you a bike rack system that I built for the back of my pickup truck. This happens to be a 2005 F-150, but it's worked out really well for transporting the family's bikes. Uh, in doing this, I wanted something that would store the bikes in such a way where they weren't just thrown in the back of the bed, laying on top of each other, where they could get damaged. And I didn't want a bike rack that would, say, uh, mount in a hitch and hang off the back. So uh, this system worked out really well. It's, it's rather simple. Um, it really starts with a one by eight piece of lumber that has been cut to length and notched out in each of the corners. So that allows the, the or prevents the board from shifting left to right. And I also mounted on the back end here some L brackets and that will prevent the rack from shifting forward or backward. So it's held securely in place. Uh, the other advantage of the L brackets on the rear is when I put my tailgate up, it actually pinches the rack in place to uh, just prevent it from even popping up. When it was complete, I did hit it with a few coats of truck bed coating, which I just purchased an aerosol can. And that really gave it a great finish and a uh, pretty good match to the factory coating that's already on this pickup truck. So it wasn't necessary to coat it or paint it, but uh, I just thought it gave it a great finish. The track structure here, this is strut material that you can find in the electrical aisle of Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those big box hardware stores. These fork mounts I picked up off Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below so you can see those. Each one of these fork mounts attaches to the strut material using two bolts. The, the mounts come with two holes already pre-drilled. There's actually a third one there in the center which I didn't need. Uh, and then the back side of the bolt just hits one of those cone knots and it looks something like this here. So this slides into the channel and then the bolt comes through uh, and secures the mount in place. But what's nice about this system is I have the flexibility to loosen the nuts and then shift these fork mounts left or right depending on the bike that's actually installed. One feature I'll show you about this because the back of the pickup truck has these ridges that end somewhere right around here, there would be a tendency for this board to rock forward. So when I actually installed these L brackets to the underside of the board, I used a quarter inch spacing material, which actually makes up for that difference here between the bottom of the board and the top of the truck bed. And that prevents that board from really rocking forward. So again, just a quick solution to being able to transport two or more bikes in the back of a pickup truck. Uh, really simple, inexpensive uh, build that came out really well. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. If you found this information helpful, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.